<clears throat> All right, guys, today is Thursday up on the mountain here at the Bay Pile, and uh, I got no tracks. Got some deer moving through here. Nothing going on there. Nothing going on at the Berry Goose. They just haven't come through yet. I'm not even digging in that pile. I don't know. We're supposed to get a big snow coming, but uh, I'm not sure it's going to happen or not. But uh, all right, we'll keep going. I'll see you on the next one. Farm. Uh, today is still Thursday, and uh, I'm just rebaiting, rechecking, making sure everything's okay. It's 40 degrees right now, so we got about an inch of slime on top. But uh, all the dirt is up and up and running. I put uh, an entirely new bait out there at the. Uh, chase set and i'm standing here at the rock i just redid this whole thing because it was pretty frozen in but that's what the rock set looks like nice little hole down there and uh that's gonna be it i do have footage of a coyote that walked right by the bay pile like there was nothing even there so um it's getting into january now so i think he has other things on his mind other than food if you know what i mean so we'll see what happens i got this brand new bait and uh we're gonna give it a shot so that's going to be it for today. It's Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, today is Friday. Uh, nothing in the traps except for one thing. I ran into a situation today at the farm, and uh, I thought I'd bring it up because uh, it could be pretty important. It's pretty rare, but uh, I think on occasion that uh, you should know what to do in the situation. Anyways, I caught a cat at the farm, and it was a wild cat. Not a bobcat, just a regular domestic cat, but it's been out there for a long time. And the farmer, without calling me, tried to let it go, and it bit the crap out of him. Scratched him all to bits, bit him up pretty good. And, uh, you know, of course, then he called me. So, you know, in that kind of situation, when you have a wild animal bite you, um, there is always a risk of rabies and certain procedures have to take place only two things can happen when that happens either the animal has to be quarantined for 10 days or it has to be uh, euthanized and sent for testing to see if it carries the rabies virus which will determine whether you're going to get shots or not um, the problem is if you don't do that and just ignore the situation um, and if by the very rare chance that it does have rabies and you start, start to show symptoms, there is no cure. You're going to die. So uh, just as, you know, as a precautionary measure, if that you do run across a situation like that where you think someone has been exposed, which is by being bitten, um, there is a less exposure if you're messing with bats. They almost always have rabies, so you're always going to get shots if you play around with bats. But uh, as far as cats or raccoons or something like that, if it bites someone, you have to contact your local board of health or your animal control officer in the area and follow the procedures for that state. Every state is a little bit different, but they always have the same rule. The animal has to be quarantined or has to be euthanized and sent for testing only to protect the person that was bitten because it takes a quite a long time to develop symptoms but once they start it's too late to get the shots so just as a, just a precautionary measure if you ever run across a situation like that I mean it does take some time today I spent three hours after I put the cat in a carrier I had to find out what all the rules were in this state I'm not familiar with uh, those rules because I haven't had that situation happen to me in this state in other states yes but not this state so but it was just a matter of making some phone calls, following the procedures, and seeing who you bring the cat to to follow up and uh, take care of business and what has to be done. But uh, I just thought I would make mention of that because if you ever run in that kind of situation, you just can't ignore it or dispatch the animal and think nothing's of it, you know, put a Band-Aid on it because uh, that is very irresponsible and uh, there could be a risk of some real problems if you don't take the proper uh, procedures. But... Um, that's it. I just wanted to let you know what's going on out there in the wild. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.